My name is Peter Augury. I'm director of the Johns Hopkins Malaria Research Institute at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health, Baltimore, Maryland, USA. In some ways, I think I, I would say research chose me. I was a student in medicine at Johns Hopkins back in the 1970s, hoping to do some research relevant to the uh, diseases of the third world. I was involved because of the humanitarian interest. I guess there was a threshold I must have passed where I became a scientist. It was not a one-way street at which I would end. It was science from here on. Being um, from a large family, I'm used to talking to people, sharing information, getting ideas. And I talked to scientists, I talked to dozens of scientists, explained that we had a new protein, we thought it was a channel protein from the red cell membranes. And we always got the same response, red cells don't have channels, you must be wrong. Until I finally talked to a colleague, John Parker at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill a very dear friend, a hematologist, a blood specialist, who was also a physiologist. And he immediately recognized red cells, renal tubules, roots of plants. These tissues have one shared property. They're highly permeated by water. Maybe this is the long sought water channel. It was before our first public lecture, my postdoctoral fellow, Greg Preston, wonderful fellow, charming young man. We were all having lunch, but he had to give the lecture, so he was the only one not to have beer. <laughs> so we were thinking, we need a name, a functional name for these water channel proteins. And there were six of us, or seven of us at lunch. And no one remembers exactly where the name came, but we were thinking of names like maybe hydropontin or hydrophorin. Someone else thought maybe aqua, aquaphorin, or the Greek aquaporin. That's it. Everybody said, that's it, aquaporin. The generation of pure water is theoretically possible with the aquaporins because this is a water selective filter. Only water can go through this filter. The, uh, the engineering of this though has some technical difficulties because the native membranes are very tiny. And so only nanoscale water purification can occur. A lot of individuals got very excited and attention from around the world, even a Nobel Prize. But, you know, I honestly don't see myself as Einstein reincarnate. I see myself more as Huckleberry Finn, a uh, happy-go-lucky individual with a good team of scientists and friends looking for adventure. And boy, did we find one. <laughs>